you. We can't talk about our influences, ladies and gentlemen, talking about uh, Wynoni, unless we are also talking about um, the jukebox, king of the jukebox himself, none other than Louis Jordan. Like Wynoni, Jordan was a major, major star. And he also had a lot of comedic flair. And he was very influenced as a blues and jazz artist. Here's something uh, pretty cool, though. It was written in a critical review for the first time this phrase was ever used when they were talking about Louis Jordan. The term rock and roll was used. It's the first time. You know, some of you guys uh, may already know this, but I started my career with the help of another piano cat who uses a lot of humor, who loves early blues history and is a piano boogie rock and roll piano player. I uh, can call him a mentor personally, and he's on the boat right now. I don't think he's here at the stage right now. If he is, that's, he's welcome to come out, but his name is Reverend Billy C. Works. Now imagine this, I am barely old enough to drink, and I'm touring, long tours now, with Reverend Billy C. <laughs> We're touring as a comedy blues dueling piano type thing. Riding around uh, the whole entire country in my grandfather's 1984 Cadillac DeVille. <laughs> with two keyboards in the back, <clears throat> a briefcase of microphones, a case of RC Cola, and a case of Moon Pies. There were admittedly also a lot of Waffle House stops. <laughs> if you can imagine just for a second the sort of stories and information that he uh, shared with me over the course of those couple of years, to say the least, there was never a dull moment and they le I learned personally a whole lot. So besides all the gospel music, blues stories, jokes, and shared laughs, there, were, there was a lot of education. He'd say stories or songs with stories. And, and, especially that use humor. <clears throat> He'd say, now you're talking to Uncle, Uncle Daddy. You're cooking with grease. So let's jump into one right now that I remember hearing come across my family's vinyl stereo quite often. My grandfather and dad, they play this record, Louis Jordan. And man, when, when this record was spent, I always remember the song, Saturday Night Fish Fry. And if it's okay, I'd like to share that with you all right now. Thank you. 
being made by a big fat piano man. Some of them chicks bought expensive rocks and uh, some of them had on them old Bobby socks. But everybody was nice and hot. I just to think of the Saturday night.
My chick came down, Lord, and she went my bail. And finally got us out of that old rotten jail. If you ever want to get a piss in your wine, a Saturday night fish fry. I don't care how many fish in the field. Don't ever mention no fish to me. What is that? Are y'all having fun? Say, uh-huh.